Now, in recent years, we're seeing measles rates above what we have ever seen in the U.S., and it is really a cause for concern because the very first measles vaccine was put on the market in 1963. So we have over 60 years of data that demonstrate that there is no relationship between vaccines and autism. At Briny for Trump, GMOs change our DNA every day and give people several diseases. Why did we approve of this? This is not true. In the 1980s and 1990s, the papaya was being wiped out by a virus called the papaya ring spot virus. So we created a GMO papaya that can resist the papaya ring spot virus. 90% of the papayas are GMO. And when you eat them, it is not changing your DNA. So when you eat the papaya, you're eating all of its cells and all of those cells contain DNA. So those DNA molecules are going to enter your stomach and it's gonna mix with an enzyme called pepsin. So when the pepsin interacts with the DNA molecule, it blasts it apart into all of these individual subunits and therefore the DNA is no longer intact. It's not gonna change your DNA. It's not gonna cause any harmful consequences. 